Morning, Sally. Morning. Jeremy in? No. I can say no. I can say no. I can say no. Of course I'm aware of it. Very, very grateful, darling. Really. Listen, do not worry. I'll get, I'll get lucky. There's German money flying in tomorrow. Yes, well, of course I'll need a script. No, I know I haven't got one. Well, what do you want me to do? Write the bloody thing myself? Darling, darling, we do not need Sini's bloody tiling in a 25-foot conservatory. Getting out here anyway. Put it on the account. But I told you the account's closed, Mr. Swain. Are you right, Jeremy? Yes, I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's a coffee on. Yeah. Hey, the cabin. Shall I call an ambulance? No, no, no. Believe me, I'm fine. I'm fine. I've got meeting. Meeting. But this is your meeting. What? Vic Lee. Eleven o'clock. Him? Are you Vic Lee? I think he's concussed. Are you concussed, Vic? Keep you long, Vic. Hold my calls. There haven't been any. Good. There you go, Vic. Lots of sugar. Carefully found yourself. Me. Where's Sally? Channel 4, then under British screen. She's gonna love this. She's gonna love it. I've got lucky again. I'm a genius. Are we celebrating tonight? I'm having you for tea. Can we have supper first. You have saved my life, Vince. Vic. Cigarette. I've given up. What the hell? What the hell, eh? You have vision. You show real pain, real comedy, and believe me, that is so rare. It was an accident. Vic, Vic, don't be so modest. This is no accident. This is talent. This is original. This is the best first draft I've ever read. No, no, I mean outside. Oh, out... No, no, no. Listen, I'm a witness. I'm a witness. You're in the clear. That's not mine. Whose is it, then? I don't know. Divine 
inspiration. Well, if that's what you want to call it, Vic, you call it that. You call it anything you want, but I will call you a writer. You are a writer. I'm a producer. And God has brought us together. You have come down from the mountain with the tablets of stone, but unfortunately, I have a lunch to do. Top people. Big money. Filthy habit. Come on. And this is just the beginning bit. You're gonna go far. I'm telling you, far. Dinner tonight, Del Hugo's, okay? Claire will fix you a cab. Get this man a cab, sweetheart. And one without a blind driver. Okay. Right, Vic. See you later. The future of the British cinema. You start raving mad, but I'm telling you, as a genius, he's going to swing this German money. Thank you, God. Thank you, God. Thank you, Claire. You all right, Jeremy? Sorry, Sally, listen. No, I'm saying nothing. You meet him, you read it. What? He thinks God wrote it. Is Jeremy all right? Vic Lee, here's our 11 o'clock meeting. Oh, dear. morning something terrible happened you see I lost my bag the script the my... Mm. he'll turn up he'll turn up don't panic okay he's hungry I've never seen a writer so hungry don't panic okay now listen I'll sign him I'll give him a couple of drinks and I'll see you for a little nibble around 10 okay I'm having you for pudding okay book a table let's go Phone the flower, got nothing. Claire's been all over Soho. You all right after that bash on your head? Come on, we're going to eat. Eat. We're really going to eat. Come on, we're really going to eat. <laughs> it's a funny old life. <laughs> Great title. Feel good. Really feel good. Really. In this town, Vic, when people start to talk, they talk. And let me tell you, when it comes to you, Vic, they are talking. Move. Right. They do a killer plateau through the mayor, if you prefer. How you doing? Good. And sometimes you forget who you are because you're so bloody cold. <laughs> And you know, <laughs> you know what the worst thing is, Johnny? Jeremy. The worst thing is the other people. 
the other people. Hell is, as the saying goes, the other people. That's right. I mean, that's right. That's right. Hell is, as the saying goes, the other people. Jeremy. Rick. Are you Scottish? No. I don't think we've... Uh, no, sorry. Vic Lee, Rick Powell. Well, you look Scottish. Vic did that lovely little shirt with Jamie Morris. Oh, right, right. What was it called? Sorry, Vic, my memory. Um, what was it called? Oh, well, listen, Vic, anyway. If he asks you to sign anything, don't, OK? <laughs> My bloody coat! Listen, I'm sorry, I'm really sorry. Uh, she'll explain everything. Morning, Jeremy. There you go, Vic. Oh, did you like the apartment? Did you like our mirrors? Listen, Vic, matey, about last night, you were drunk. You drank too much. I mean, that's okay. You're a writer, that's what you're supposed to do, but whatever you remember, forget it. Listen, this has got to stop. Yeah, yeah Vic, shut up, shut up. Listen, right. listen, listen. Whatever you're doing, you've got to stop it now. Stop it. Stop it. I don't want to be responsible. Because if this goes on like this, something terrible is going to happen. You're absolutely right. It's a terrific piece of advice, Vic. I'm a change man. But if you keep it under your head, you can keep the coat. Come on, Willie. Sally Denton, Sally, Vic Lee. Sally and I are in co-production. Vic, she's the brains, I'm the beauty. Morning. Dying, yes. What do you mean, it was in the flat? We think it's a great first draft, Vic. Yeah. I mean, I think there's still a way to go, but we'll get there in the end. Uh, blown away, blown away to me. I'm celebrating with a new writer. Yeah. <laughs> you know what Stop really drinking, fits Stop now drinking. I've met you? What? Well, when we spoke on the phone, I imagined you were 20-something. And now I can see you. Well, you've lived a bit. No, I promise I you, that's what I was. What, you right. the, what, do you, what do you mean, when? Will you listen to me? Come on! Bike's under a lot of stress at the moment, Vic. She's doing up the house. Right. Work out, Vic? No, he didn't. Sometimes. Yeah. Well, what about Margaret? Did she say? No. That's what she It's free, it's there to eat. Thanks. <laughs> you are the most extraordinary man I've ever met. It's exactly like I was trying to say earlier, there's something about me that you need. Come on, boys and girls, let's make movies with these crowds. Right, Mick. Klaus and Stefan are from Clibble, Frankfurt. They got interest in recording, publishing, interactives, and thank you God, movies, and make some serious money. Heavyweight burgers, pump prize. We hope they'll invest in your film. See, a couple of bob from them equals 100k for us. But they're very nice guys, Rick. And all you are is furniture, OK? Look serious, and if they want to pitch, stick to character and arc, nothing specific. Ignore them. Look, do you think, yeah, before we get there, we could stop and have something to eat? Stop. Eat? Just have breakfast. Well, Vic's hungry. Hungry? Right. Cabby, stop! Let me do it. 
It's nothing to worry about, Vic. Everything will be all right. <laughs> Two just in case, right? It's new. It's now. It's last tango in Paris meets vanishing point. Now, I talked to Dan Day-Lewis, and Dan is very excited by the idea. And Dan knows Vic, doesn't he, Vic? Yeah. Yes, Dan knows Vic. And with the Deutsche Bank... Right. It's yours. It doesn't belong to you. on the answer machine. Oh, I was going to tell you. You seem so busy with the other one. I know you're not going to believe this, Vic. But I knew that you were somebody special when I first read It's a Funny Old Life yesterday. I'm not anything. You're back. Yeah. Sally and I had lunch and we talked and then she said she had to go to a meeting. For you, one for me. Yep. Sally Denton. Sally. A remarkable woman. <coughs> yeah. Good lunch. Yeah. And what did she say? Did she tell you about? How hard it is to find a man her age who's straight and not married. What the pentagram went down six months ago. Or what sort of a piss artist I am. No. No? No. I said I loved her. And she said she'd never met anyone like me before in her life. And she said she loved me. She said she loved you very much. <laughs> He says being in love is like believing you're never going to die. If only it could be like this forever. No past, no future, but like this forever. But it can't. Well, no, but that's what's so positive, because next... <laughs> See, the thing is, Jeremy, I used to be a doctor. Well, I wanted to be a GP. I just I wanted to save lives, you know. I had a great idea for a, uh, for a group practice somewhere, you know? Be a team of doctors and be making a difference. Yeah. And what happened? I started making mistakes, you know? You can't make mistakes if you're a doctor. Did you... Did you kill somebody? Yeah. Oh. You drunk? No. No. No, that's when I started the drinking. <laughs> now, the end is ambiguous, but it's spot on. Everybody knows a lot more about themselves, but you can't say they're happy. The end. Yeah, Sally don't like me drinking. Sally, eh? <sighs> Got to do something about this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She keeps saying she wants to pull this company apart, you see, but she can't do that. I mean, she can't do that. I'll speak to her. Have you ever thought how strange life is? I mean, as a doctor, you must have thought that all the time. Yeah. Yeah. 
I mean, have you got any idea of the odds scientifically against you being you? Or against you being at all? High. Bloody high. Unimaginable. What? Let's say your mother never met your father. Yeah? Or say, um, or you, you, your mother didn't fancy your father. Or, uh, or they didn't fancy doing it just then. And yet, you exist. We are here. You and me. We know so little about each other, you know? <laughs> Just enough to be good friends. Just enough to... What? Well, I know about all this. And I know about this. And I know about Claire. And I know about your wife. And I'm wearing your clothes. And I was in your bed. I even use your toothbrush. Just enough to be you. And I'm you. And I'm dead. And 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 I'm born again. <laughs> yeah, but you can be me. I can be whoever I want. No, you can be me, cos you're. Vic Lee, writer. And you wrote that. And you signed this. I mean, that is your signature, isn't it? I mean, you couldn't be anybody but Vic, could you be? Yeah? Who say so, Vic? Yeah. I mean, that is your name, isn't it? You are. Vic Lee, aren't you? I mean, we did get 25 grand for you because Klaus and Stefan didn't want us to have lunch with Mr. Osaka. That is right, isn't it? <laughs> it was an accident. What was an accident? <laughs> I wanted to die and then... Well, why did you want to die, Vic? Because I was sick of it, so cold and hungry. Yeah, but you want to live now because you've got a beautiful woman who loves you, you've got a nice suit, you've got food, you've got a nice warm, cosy bed, and all you've got to do, Vic, is to be Vic. Vic. <laughs> but I'm not. Who are you, then? I mean, Sally loves Vic. I'm drinking with Vic. We're doing Vic's film. And all Vic's got to do is make sure Sally stays with me. And we all work together and we're all nice and friendly. Hmm? It's a funny old life, isn't it? I mean, we're friends, aren't we, Vic? One, one. Darling, uh, no, no, I'm alone. I'm alone. I'm... No, I, 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 I wouldn't lie to you, darling. I wouldn't. Listen, I promise you, there is nobody here. No, listen, listen. There's m money. Um, there's, uh, Japanese money, uh, for like, listen, there is nobody here. <laughs>